Hey there, it's Mark from Third Child Sports. Now, when you're playing pickleball, there's a lot of different ways that you can serve. And all of those different ways could, in fact, be legal. But when you're serving, you can also hit an illegal serve. And sometimes it's a little bit tricky to know which is which. So that's what this video is all about. Now, quick reminder about some of the rules. There's three technical elements that have to be present when you serve in order for it to be considered a legal serve. First, the paddle's gotta be moving on an upward path when you make contact. Second, when you do touch the ball, the highest part of the paddle can't be above your wrist. And finally, when you make contact with the ball, it can't be above waist height, and your waist is defined as your belly button. All right, so now that you know what you have to do to hit a legal serve, let's put you through your paces. All right, what do you think? This is a pretty standard pickleball serve. And you're right, it is definitely legal. You can see I make contact well below my belly button. The paddle is moving on an upward arc. And no part of the paddle is above my wrist of contact. This is a pretty standard serve, and it is perfectly legal. Let's take a look at number two. What do you think here? Serve number two. A little bit different, this sometimes throws people off when you see a high toss. Remember, there's no rule about how high you can toss the ball. It just matters what's happening before and at contact. And you can see, in fact, the paddle is moving upward. No part of the paddle is above the wrist, and it's below the belly button. So that serve is also legal. Number three here. What do you think? So what sometimes throws people off here is when the paddle is started very high. People think, wait a second, how is it possible to have a low to high swing? But as you'll see here, the paddle comes low, then the release, and so the paddle is definitely moving upward, making contact below waist height, with no part of the paddle head above the wrist. So this serve also legal. Serve number four coming up here. What do you think? This is a sort of more active kind of serve, you can see squatting below impact even before the ball is hit, but in fact, yes, the paddle is moving up. Nothing above waist high, and the paddle head is in line with or below the wrist. So again, the serve meets all the requirements to be legal. Here comes number five. What do you think about this one? Again, the paddle head is starting up pretty high, which can sometimes get people into trouble. Sometimes they'll have a downward swing when they hit, when they make contact. In this case, the downward part is sort of complete by the time the paddle is moving up into the ball. No part of the paddle is above the wrist. You can see there's a little bit of side spin here. Spin is allowed so long as those three technical requirements are met. No problem with number five. Let's look at number six. So again, the toss is very high here. You'll see, notice the left foot. The left foot starts to come forward right here. Now it came pretty close to touching the line, but as long as you're only close to touching the line, not actually touching it, you're okay. And again, the other requirements, the upward arc, contact below waist height, and no part of the paddle above the wrist of contact means the surf, while I don't recommend it, is also legal. Number seven. What do you think about this one? Now there might be a couple ways that you might call this serve illegal. So one, it's not totally clear to me that there is an upward swing path here. You can see the paddle does move up well after contact a little bit. But to me this looks like it's fairly level. But another argument could be made that the top of the paddle head is above the wrist. Listen to referee Don Stanley, what he has to say about that. I froze it on my computer and it did look like, which I bet is what you're wondering, it did look like your paddle was above the wrist to me. Here's serve number eight, what do you think about this one? 
serve number eight is also okay. The paddle is marginally moving on an upward path here. But if it's marginally moving up, it's still moving up. That part is satisfied. You can see the contact is well below waist height. And no part of the paddle is above the wrist, so this serve would also be considered a legal serve. Finally, let's look at serve number nine here. For serve number nine, let's listen to certified referee Don Stanley and what he has to say about it. Um, number nine looked like to me, I was wondering. Um, there's not much slowing them down. I can tell, oh, yeah, slowing it down. Yeah, especially seven. I thought, well, definitely, you have to have right it when you hit the ball. That, that paddle's above the wrist. Yeah. You know, but it, that's why I can't, you know, and as far as the upward arc, one of my guiding factors is if I see a swooping arm motion. Okay. To me, the swoop means there's downward arc, then the very bottom of the pendulum, then the upward arc. Uh, you know, that, that to me is enough of an arc, whatever, to not call it. All right, so there you have it. Lots of different serves, some legal, some not, some more obvious, some a little more subtle. Thanks to referee Don Stanley for coming in, letting us know what he thinks. Know what you think. Send me an email, mark at thirdshotsports.com. Love to hear from you. And thanks, as always, to our very good friends over at Selkirk Sport. They make amazing pickleball paddles. Also, pretty nice shirts. And you know what? Even if they do hit an illegal serve, they never get caught. See you next time.